Hey Spice Lovers, it's Steve the Lady Scientist and today I'm going to be making some spicy sweet jerk chicken wraps. First up though, we need to get our chicken. So I've gone for skin on, bone in, thighs, because that's where all the flavour is. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score these puppies just a couple of times over the top with a knife on all of them and that's so that we can get as much flavour in there as possible from the marinade. I've scored them all and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them back into their container to do a layer of them first of all. I'm then going to hit them with a bit of oil and then I'm going to take my sweet honey jerk seasoning that I've made and put a liberal dosing of those on. We're then going to get our hands in there, we're going to get messy and we're just going to make sure that those are fully, fully coated all over in that beautiful seasoning. Lovely, those are good, so I'm going to put the second layer in and then same again. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave them for at least an hour. Overnight would be even better to make sure that you get loads and loads of lovely flavour into these beautiful chicken thighs. So we'll be back in a minute. The chicken's had an hour now, so it's marinated and looking really, really good. It's taken on loads of colour. Now, in an ideal world, you want to smoke this slowly for a couple of hours, but we don't live in an ideal world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto a flat tray and I'm going to roast it in the oven at about 200 degrees for about 45 minutes until the skin goes nice and crispy. So let's get that in there. While those chicken thighs are cooking away nicely, we're gonna make the next part, which is a lovely, lovely jerk gravy. So really, really simple and easy to make. I'm gonna take some tomato ketchup, probably about half a cup to go with that. Then I'm gonna take my sweet honey jerk seasoning and it's probably going to put about a tablespoon in there as well and then last thing is phone out battery so let's start again and the last thing is some cider vinegar probably about 20 ml so i'm going to put that in i'm going to turn the heat on Put it down nice and low and then we're going to get a spoon and we're just going to stir it we're going to bring it to the boil and then once it's come to the bowl just boil it for about a minute and then it's done now that's had about a minute just to boil through and cook through you can give it a little bit of taste mm. it's delicious it's tangy it's got lots of that sweet lovely jerk flavoring going on lots of thyme lots of allspice that's absolutely brilliant so what we're going to do is we are now just going to leave that to cool while our chicken carries on cooking. It's been 45 minutes, let's get it out and have a look. Oh yes, now that looks absolutely perfect. Okay, look at these. Absolutely delicious, crispy, amazing. Cannot wait to try these. Let's get this chicken sliced and then we're gonna get it in a bowl with some of that jerk gravy and then it's gonna be time to make our wraps. Let's add our jerk gravy. Give that a good old mix. Beautiful. Now let's make the wraps. And here we go. Let's take our wrap, put on some of that lovely jerk chicken, add some lettuce, some cucumber, some tomatoes, and of course some coleslaw. Now next part is to try and wrap it. So do the sides first and then carefully bring the top over, kind of tuck it in and then roll. It does take a bit of practice. Uh, this was about the third take I did of this. Next, cut it into diagonals and have a look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Incredible. 